Yo, 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 it's your boy West the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as artists grow in your craft. Now, today we're going to go over should you use Symphonic for music distribution, all right? So, if you're a recording artist who's possibly considering using Symphonic as your music distributor, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm going to go over everything that you need to know about Symphonic and whether you should actually use it for your music distributor moving forward, all right? Now, before I continue, I definitely wanna let you guys know about my free music business checklist that's available on my website right now. This is for any one of you who's possibly looking into leaving your nine to five job and don't know where to start when it comes to starting your own music business, all right? You can click on the link above. It'll actually pull up the page where you can download this free checklist for free. And this checklist is gonna give you three things that you can do right away to actually start your own music business. All right. I will also leave the link in the descriptions of this video below. All right. Now, when it comes to Symphonic, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I first heard of them when I was looking into distributing my music video. All right. At the time, honestly speaking, they were the only company that I was able to find to actually distribute my music video to places like Vivo, to places like iTunes and all of those different places where they actually where you could actually distribute your music video to. All right. When it came to actually music itself, I didn't really think of Symphonic as a place that you could actually distribute music, but just music videos. But to be honest with you, I was absolutely wrong. I don't know when they actually started to have music distribution. They probably always had it, but I wasn't known to it. And a lot of, I bet a lot of you probably weren't savvy to that as well because their main focus, at least it seemed like their main focus was music video distribution since they were really the only people to, to have it. So if you Googled literally music video distribution, they were the only company that came up, right? So for that, they were absolutely great. But when it came to the music distribution, it was one of those things that I'd never really paid attention to it. But I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, their music distribution service is absolutely great. It's just as good, if not better, than some of the other companies that we know out there, like the Distro Kids of the World, TuneCore, United Masters, CD Baby, and all of those other music distribution companies. And I really just wanted to make this video kind of just to let you guys know what Symphony uh, or Symphonic, I'm sorry, offers as a music distribution company, not a music video distribution company, a music distribution company, all right? So first and foremost, let's get the most important part out of the way, the cost, all right? When it comes to picking a music distributor, that's usually what it boils down to. That's usually what people ask in the comments. What is the actual cost? Well, when it comes to Symphonic for music distribution, it's only an annual fee of $19.99, all right? So quite frankly, they have one of the best plans on the market if you're just looking at the, the annual subscription fee, all right? DistroKid also has a $19.99 plan, but as I tell most people, that plan isn't the best plan because you can't choose your own release dates. So the best plan that you can actually get through DistroKid is actually $39.99, all right? I like to compare different music distribution companies to DistroKid because in my opinion, DistroKid is like top notch, is the best. But what I'm looking at with Symphonic they, they, they could really compete with DistroKid. So if you're just looking at the cost alone, Symphonic is actually better than DistroKid because like I said, the 1999 DistroKid plan isn't worth it for an artist because you can't choose your own release date. And that's very, very important, especially when you're looking at marketing and when you're looking at actually releasing your music. Your music has to be released up to you so that you can market it properly. If it's up to the distributor, that's then you can't really market around that because you don't know when they're gonna actually release your stuff, right? So Symphonic is better price-wise because their 1999 plan is compared to DistroKid's $39.99 plan where you can actually choose your own release dates, all right? So price-wise, Symphonic has probably the best price in town, all right? Now, when it comes to the royalties, which is probably the second thing that you're gonna think of, the royalties is 100% just like DistroKid, just like a lot of the other music distribution companies. So as you can see, it can compete with all of the other music distribution companies, all right? Cost-wise, it has most of them, and royalties-wise, you still keep 100% of your royalties. So really at this point, when it comes to choosing which distribution company, it all comes down to, okay, which has better perks, all right? When it comes to Symphonic, of course they have YouTube content ID. So if you're thinking about that as well, yes, Symphonic does have YouTube content ID and it's part of their 1999 plan, all right? Also, you can get your official 
artist page through Symphonic as well. All right, the same way you can do it with some of the other distribution companies. So they also have that as well. Where is Symphonic actually raised my attention as far as some of their specific perks is certain perks that i've seen in their actual distribution that i haven't really seen in any other music distribution companies and those were the things that i really wanted to highlight all right so first and foremost one of the main things that i noticed that they had that nobody else had that i felt was very very important to highlight was they actually have manual claims all right and what i mean by that is they actually have manual youtube claims and manual TikTok claims and what this means is if you have a bunch of people using your music on TikTok reels or a bunch of people using your your music on their youtube videos and YouTube or TikTok isn't actually registering your music to it or linking your music to it, you could actually go in through Symphonic and manually claim your copyrights or your rights to those to those videos, to those reels on TikTok or those videos on TikTok or the videos on YouTube. That is absolutely dope because like I said, no other distribution company that I know of can actually do that, all right? Of course you have YouTube content ID for them as well, but I'm just saying when it comes to, okay, here I see a post from a video, I see all of these people are using my music on TikTok, but they're not actually picking my music. Let's say they're playing the music in the background and TikTok isn't actually registering it as your music. You could literally manually claim it through Symphonic. That's absolutely dope. Like I said, it is the only company that I have seen so far that is able to do that. Now, I know it's not one of those things that maybe everybody is looking for, but just for the simple fact that they can do that, I thought that was an amazing and amazing perk, all right? The next perk that I did notice that Symphonic had that I do see in other companies, but it's cool that they do have it here, is they have a lot of partnerships as well as services outside of just what they offer through music distribution. And one of the main things that I noticed as far as through the partners, the different partnerships and the services is they actually have a partnership for sync licensing of your music. This part is absolutely dope, right? Because this is literally an agency that you could sign up for, all right, by filling out this form that you see here. And if you get approved, they'll be able to represent you and actually get sync licensing for you for TV, movies, and different things like that. Obviously, other distribution companies like um, Song Trader has that, United Masters have that, but they're really the only two that, that I've seen that really has that like that. And neither one of those companies are really good for just pure music distribution. So if, you, if you're comparing sync licensing and music distributions together, say, um, obviously Symphonic would take the cake because DistroKid doesn't really offer anything when it comes to sync licensing and neither does TuneCore for the most part, all right? So that's another thing that I noticed that Symphonic had that I thought was awesome, especially when they have really, really comparable rates and features to DistroKid, the best distribution, in my opinion, that's out there, all right? The next thing that I did notice that they also had as well, which is really, really good, is that they have different things that you could do with YouTube specifically that a lot of other distributions don't have, right? You, of course, you have your official artist page. Of course, you have your YouTube content ID. But there's a slew of other things that you could do directly with YouTube and Symphonic that I think is dope. And it's probably why they were able to do music video distribution through Vivo and get your Vivo videos to appear on your YouTube channel. They could do all of those different things with YouTube, which is really unique to them. The, the simple fact that they could do those things. And obviously, if you're releasing your music through Symphonic, then you probably want to release your music videos through them as well if you want your music videos on Vivo, all right? So Symphonic, all in all, in my opinion, is actually a really, really great music distribution company not music video just music distribution company as a music distribution company it's up there with the best when i do my review for the uh, the best music distribution companies of 2014 coming up i definitely have to consider symphonic as one of the best moving forward because they really really offer great perks their prices are comparable, if not better, than some of the other distribution companies out there. And of course, they still are the number one place for music video distribution, all right? So 
all in all, you know, if you're thinking about considering Symphonics, it's not a bad gig, it's not a bad idea. All right, it's a really great music distribution company in my opinion. I haven't really seen anything that I didn't like about it. Pretty much everything that I seen was good news, good things, you know. Um, obviously, I had access to their back door. I signed up for it because I wanted to see these things for myself, all right? And everything looks good to me, right? Of course, you'll have your Spotify for artists, your Apple Music for artists, all of those things that should come standard with a music distribution company, you will have with Symphonic as well. But once you add all of those extra partnerships and services and those manual claims, Symphonic is up there. Symphonic is definitely up there. So anyone who's using Symphonic now, please leave comments in the comment section below if you feel that there's something that I left out that should also be talked about when it comes to the distribution. All right. Any other questions or concerns, you can also leave comments in the comment section below because, of course, I'm here to help you out as an independent artist. All right. Also, if you're, you know, an independent artist or if you're starting your music career and you still have a nine to five job and you're looking at putting yourself in a position to leave that nine to five job so that you could do music full time. I definitely strongly urge you to grab my ebook here, the 13 steps to jumpstart your music business, because with this ebook, I will show you all the 13 steps that I took to put myself in a position to leave my nine to five job and do music full time. I do music full time and I want that same thing for every independent artist that watches my videos. So definitely grab that ebook here if you wanna know the roadmap on how to do that, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. Again, so if you have any other questions or concerns or any additional things that you feel like should be mentioned about Symphonic, leave comments in the comment section below. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Can nobody yeah. hold me? Yeah. Can no. nobody yeah. hold me? I'm feeling yeah. like Dale. Big Daddy. Like Dale. Yeah. Can yeah. nobody yeah. face me? Yeah. Can't uh, face uh, me. I'm feeling yeah. like Joseph. Big Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. Can yeah. nobody break me? Yeah.